What's up, everybody watching Legacy TV? Be all in or be nothing at all. Of course, you're with me, Albina Sini. And today, as you can see, I'm wearing kits, things that you can use in the swimming pool. Today, I'm about to teach you not how to really swim, but first steps that I learned so that I can know how to easily swim. These are things that you can see with your eyes, things that you can easily apply wherever you are if you want to learn how to swim. And of course, I'm an evidence of a person who has learned how to swim in one night i repeat again in one night you can say it's obviously nonsense or it's not even real but this is what happened this is my story of course if you're going to the pool and you're running one of the things that you have to do you don't have to go naked unless if you really want to but you need to put your swimming costume swimming costumes have a tissue of a swimming costume you don't have to just take any random thing but really take a cloth that is made for you to go in the pool and afterwards have a swimming kit me i call it a swimming pool kit i can say this is for the head or for your hair if you have braids or whatever these are glasses to use in the pool so that you can not have problem with your eyes and this is another kit with two tools to put in your ear so that the water cannot enter in your uh, ears and of course a kit to put on your nose and i'm about to show you how to use it but before doing that let's go to take a shower you will be saying shower yeah before going in the water because the water has chemicals and all you need to go in the water already clean so you need to take a real quick shower and then pour yourself in the pool in an easy way so let's go This helps you to remove all the dirtiness, all the lotions or any grass or whatever you have on your body before going in the pool so that you can have cleanliness. And of course you can get used to the water. These are things that you can buy from the shop, you can order on online shops and all, in sports shops and all. It's not that expensive. Step two, from the head to the eyes. You don't have to immediately put them unless if you're going in the water. Step three, at the kit you have to put on your nose. What you wear in, on your, in your ears. What you can wear, the kids to wear on your ears before going in the water. Right now, I cannot hear you. If you don't know how to swim, you need to know what is the depth of the water, the meters of the depth. You can ask a coach, you can ask anybody where you are, how deep is the water or the pool. As you can see, this water is not that deep. So it means you can use it. Some of the tools you may find on the pool, this is for the kids. So you can use it if you want to swim, but it's not a must. But this is for adults. So you have to see with your eyes what is for you, what is not for you. However, the size you have of your body, you can really be in this flutter. And you can easily bend and go. Use your legs. And you can never drown. You can go forward or you can go backwards and still you have things to hold. Some of them have the stuff to hold, some others don't. <laughs> it's impossible, you cannot slap a person in the water, so it means the water hates a person who fights. You don't have to fight with the water, you have to let go, be light. 
When you fight with the water, that's when you drown. So one of the steps that I learned when I started to really know how to swim are to hold on this one. Rather than holding like this, you put your arms inside and your elbows on the wall and you let go of your legs. As you can see, the water is lifting me. It means that I'm light. Step number two is you to hold now on the steel up. Before we used this, now we are using this. You go back, you let go of your legs. When it comes back, you again let go of your legs. You don't have to fight. No force, you let the water float with you. As you can see, now, third step, which is the main. This third step, it's even the main one. Whenever you're going in the water, these are like your ears. Make sure that the water comes up on your ears. Because if you're up, you cannot float. But if you're a little bit inside in a horizontal way, this is your head, then the water will make you float and you can easily swim. And moreover, whenever you come out of the water, don't sneeze. You don't have to do no. Because if you're sneezing, it's going directly to your brain. And it really hurts, I'm telling you. But if you go out of your water, you have to let the water flow downwards in an easy way and another kit is for you to go in the water in that horizontal way and smell close your smell in a little bit way as if you're entering in a toilet let's say if you're entering in a toilet and it's smelly and it's smelling badly you don't have to do <gasps> no when you enter you just close your breath in an easy way as in so now it's the small breath you're closing. It's different from closing a lot. Because if you're closing a lot, then you will really be out of your breath and you come out. You close a small breath as if you're entering in a smelly place. Let's try that. You remember? You don't have to put a lot of force, no. Light here, but here in your fingers and your hands, it's strong. And you count and you close the small breath. Remember, you don't have to, no, you have to let go the water has to go down. You come close to the still, you go back a little bit, and remember it's not vertical, it's horizontal. You look down and you close your eyes. When you look down with your eyes, sometimes chemicals in the water can hurt your eyes. It's closing a small breath, closing your eyes, closing your mouth, and a small breath, and when you come out, you just do small... Yeah, let's do it again. Let's go. You don't sneeze. You let the water go down. Yeah. So that's the small steps. And these steps, when you learn them, now you can float on the water. <laughs> you can also sleep on the water. Sometimes you hear people who sleep on the water. It's easy. Let me show you. You can step on the floor of the water. You go where you, you are like fearless or you don't feel the fear. Because it was my first step, I used to put my leg on the wall in the water and then i stretch my arms vertically as if i'm touching the seal put my head in a horizontal way and let the water bring me wherever it's bringing me so let's try it we're going to try it twice i know some of you may ask yourself how can you stand in the water easily? So if you want to stand in the water, you don't force, you don't force the water. You just stand one leg and the second one, that's it. So let's do it and then let's swim if you want to see how I swim. and other ways that you can easily learn how to swim 
we will learn them in the process if you like the video click on the like comment share notify see you soon and if you want to see how i swim let's go As I've told you, you have to always wear your slippers. And before going to take a shower and put on your clothes, you have to come and feel the sun on your body because it's not good to go in the water and wash yourself just like that. You can sometimes die. So you just feel the warmth of the sun while drying out yourself. So I hope you like the video. This is Legacy TV. You are with me, Albina Silly Queen of the Mic, the good girl in the city queen money business, aka Mama Vibes. Let's meet another time. Behind the camera, Miguel, big up to you. We love you so much. Be all in or be nothing at all.